इसी तरह जानते हैं कच्छा अवतार लेकर समुद्र को मथा तब उसमें से चौदह रत्न निकले सो सब देवताओं ने प्रसन्न हो अपनी अपनी इच्छा के अनुसार तेरह रत्न बांट लिए और चौदहवा रत्न कालकूट अर्थात हलाहल विश्व के निमित्त सब देवता महादेव जी का स्मरण कर उनसे कहने लगे कि महाराज इससे बचाइए नहीं ये विश्व अपनी ज्वाला से त्रिलोकी को भस्म कर देगा तब महादेव जी ने विचार कर श्री राम यह शब्द उच्चारण कर विष पान कर कंठ में धारण किया उसी नाम के प्रताप से विष ने अमृत का फल दिया और तभी से उनका नीलकंठ नाम हुआ
Sitaram Prabhupada. On behalf of the family, um, I would like to welcome you all this morning. We do have had some talk program that will take. In time, we are waiting for you to come down. We will take some questions in the meantime. Thank you very much, Brother Pray. DJ?
to Cochrane, so we do a little bit of this.
Thank you very much, be seated. Anybody wants to do RT or a call, you can come forward now.
Jai Ram, 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 J
for his ability to mix with others. He knew how to mix with the common man. He knew how to mix with his colleagues. He knew how to mix with his constituents. And you never know that this is a man who had gone all over the world. His intelligence was acquired through his experience in the field of culture and in the field of politics. So when the Honorable Kamla elected him as a member, he selected him to represent this constituency or this electoral district, it was an extremely wise choice. For Shotam also demonstrated as chairman of the sport committee an ability to put together a program of works that we've never had before. And he sat with Councillor Nicholas Kranhai and he did a spreadsheet on the 36 grounds and the needs of each ground. And he was able to identify what we could do in partnership to the clubs which operated in each of these grounds. Such was his organizational ability. The third was his ability to mix. For Shotam could mix with anyone at any time. And during the many floods, people will tell you that he would wade through the waters up to his neck, bringing hampers and other assistance. So may I, on behalf of the members of the Pinal Devi Regional Corporation, pay tribute to our son of the soil, a person who we will dearly miss, a person who up to last week chose to humble man was he. So Kuru, on behalf of your colleagues, I wish you farewell. You will always be leading us in spirit and in soul. Thank you very much for the contribution which you made to the development of Pinal Daily. Our next speaker is the former CEO of Southwest Regional Corporation, Regional Authority, Mr. Anil Kosain. Peter Alma, Namaste. All protocols observed based on time limit. Parashotam was employed in the health sector approximately 20 years ago. He started as a supervisor on the health sector reform program where we had to build new health centers and upgrade some of them. Um, the health centers under the Southwest Regional Health Authority he supervised. Some of his greatest achievements would have been the David, Penal, and Pleasant Health Health Centers. Based on his experience and based on the demographics, he indicated to me that the sizes needed to be changed. And if you go to David and Penal today, it is twice the size that it was going to be. And that is because of his experience and his love for his area, his community. He had a wealth of experience. Um, he recommended facilities that he did work for. Today has been some of the best facilities that they have in the country. And again, that is based on his experience. And what he did is to deliver them on time for us. For a short term, we'll visit health centers and ensure that facilities were well maintained. There were many occasions he would purchase items out of his own pocket and never asked for reimbursement. Such was a person and his commitment to his job. At his workplace, you will help, you will see him after you hear him. He had a powerful voice. Anyone can hear him before. In fact, half a mile away, you know parachute time is coming here. <laughs> And if you don't hear his voice, you will get the old Belmont he used to drive. <laughs> he was also a witty and clever character. He would come in and without anything have everyone laughing and also get a new job done. One of my memories of Parachute was visiting health centers way up in Ikakas and Citrus. And he would get the job done after we told him what to do. Within a few days, he will, all the complaints would be taken care of. But what struck me on the way back, he would stop in several places, open his trunk, call children, and start distributing chocolates and other items to them. He was a very generous person. To the same family and to the mother, of Parishotam, 
but we have found my wife, my daughters, and myself. We will dearly miss it. He was such a great character. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our next speaker is a representative from NCIC, Mr. Sahadeo Carter, and I will urge you to keep it to the limit of two minutes. Thank you. See you all, everyone. It is always a very sad moment to hear someone's passing. But when that person is well known to you, one with whom you have worked closely over many years, the loss is difficult to bear. Kushota was such a person with whom I and all members of the NCIC have had a close working relationship ever since he joined the organization. Kushota and indeed all our members work together voluntarily and passionately in preserving and promoting our culture brought here by our indentured forefathers more than 175 years ago. I wish therefore on behalf of the members of the NCIC, its board of directors, its youth arm and its employees to extend to Paul Shotan's family our very sincere condolences on his ultimate untimely passing. Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita reminds us all of some very important truths. Death is certain for that which is born. We have all been born to fulfill a purpose and God is ready to be our guide in helping us fulfill that purpose. We have only to sincerely pray and beseech our Lord to allow us to fulfill that purpose. We must not be overwhelmed by that which is inevitable. We must therefore work assiduously with the help of our Lord to make the best use of our time on earth to fulfill the purpose for which we were all born. Whether Purushottam has achieved his purpose here is not for us to judge. What we do know is that he has tried his best. He has been called back to his maker early in our eyes. For I feel certain that he had many other things in his mind that he would have wanted to accomplish. Our valued member Pushotam has achieved a lot in the time he was here. The few that I can just mention are he was a member of the Mastana Bahar Productions where he was in charge of the popular pickup band program along with other aspects of the long-standing cultural contest program. He was a key organizer of the programs of the NCIC, cultural shows. He was particularly strong on the annual Diwali Nagar Queen competition, which has since grown to international standards and we have gone beyond our boundaries towards the national diasporic com competition. The Indian Arrival Cultural Program and the organizing of cultural visits to our Caribbean sister nations in attempting to assist the Indo populace settled in these islands to establish their practically lost culture. These are but a few examples of what Purushottam was involved in. I am certain that he was involved in many other pursuits like politics in which he was recently successful. In any organization, we may have our differences of opinion. We have had many with Purushottam, but a good character trait of Purushottam was that he forgets and forgives. And relations continued as if nothing happened. A good soul he was and we are all appreciative. He will live in our memories as a good friend and exemplar. May Sri Krishna blessings be upon the soul of Purushota. And it was a pleasure knowing and working with him in the upliftment of our people. May he rest in peace. Jai Sri Krishna. Thank you, Mr. Sadhu Karta. Uh, the next item we have is a cultural item on the steel pan by Mr. Ron Kotilal. He's right in the back of me better known as the Raja. He was a very close friend of Purushottam. And throughout his sickness, he was there with him right through. And Mr. Raja 
I've seen on Purshow Top side for many years. So I pass on to the Raja now to play an instrumental on the steel box. Purshow Top loves music. So we are trying to mix the culture because it was involved in almost every aspect of culture. Not only in Trinidad and Tobago, but throughout the West Indies. So Sir Raja, are you ready? Yeah. Raja, Raja.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sit around. Members of the Berry family, members of government, former members of government. I actually knew Pershotan for about 26 years. I met Pershotan roughly around September 1995. Just when Chutney Sokamara was just a thought in my head. And you know, I had a score at Dulce Team those days. Mastana Bahar was taping in the auditorium of Gulf City. So I walked across from my store to the auditorium trying to meet someone because no one knew who I was in the cultural industry. I was brand new. And somebody directed me to Pershotam. And Pershotam from then, they, they all told me that was the man to know. And really and truly he was definitely the man to know. Because he took me, he introduced me to all the people that I needed to meet. He guided me along the way, and for 26 years, Purshottam walked by my side on my journey through Chutney Sokamana. He was a very kind and generous person who gave of himself unselfishly with no hidden agenda. There are so many stories that I can tell you about Purshottam, but time is limited. But there are two short stories I want to share with you. And you know, there are many dance groups that have crossed the stage in Chutney Sokamara over the last 26 years. And I have to say, I was almost bullied by Purshottam every time he came across a new dance group. He would come and whisper in my ear, George, I have a new dance group for you. And I would not know who these people are, but he would insist that they go on stage and they have benefited over the years. And there are so many people that have benefited from Purshottam culturally. They have become famous because of him. The other story is that we all know Pershottam is a politician, a true politician at heart. And although he and I never was involved in politics, but we were involved culturally, politics always found its way on my stage. And he found a way to get his politics involved with me. So you know when you're doing a show, you have a, an agenda, a format. But for some reason, he would find a way to sneak somebody on stage and that person would, stop, would be somebody from the political world, of course. He knew I would get mad, but he knew I would not stay mad with him. And that's why he always did it. He took advantage of me. He found a way to get his way. Pershottam is also very well known around the world. He has many, many friends in the entertainment industry. Loved and respected by memory, by many. He was part of the CSM family. He was part of the Southex family. And we will miss him. Rest in peace, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Singh. Let me now call, as you know, Pershuda was also involved very heavily in politics. And this didn't just start when he started as a politics, it started before with several MPs. And let me now call former MP. Mrs. Stacey Rupert, who served from 2010 to 2015, and Pashur Tom served in the capacity on her executive and cultural uh, assistant. Thank you, Sunil. Minister of Local Government, members of Parliament present and past, members of the Senate, members of the Penal Baby Regional Corporation Council Solomon Chairman, members of the Greek family, Bandaji, members of the media. Sitaram, good morning to each and every one of you. Today, for the very first time, I entered Opie Trace with a very heavy heart. And for those of you who would have known me, um, it was 11 years ago that I entered Opie Trace as a candidate for the constituency of Orbos West. And it was 11 years ago that I met her showdown. And I don't have to tell you about the journey because you know the rest is history. Her showdown has played a very instrumental part in the political landscape of Trinidad and Tobago. He's played a critical role in this constituency and in serving his electoral district. Today we have a great loss 
upon our hands. But today I say let us celebrate his life. Pershotam was one of the most caring, compassionate individuals that I had ever come across. His loyalty to his party, his political body, a second to none. And his service to this community, to the greater Trinidad and Tobago, to the Indian culture, his service was excellent. I think in everything that he did, he did it with pride and he gave it his all. For me personally, I've had many years of friendship with him. And I think by turn out here today, even though we are in COVID restrictions and regulations, I think this speaks volume for the type of man that he was. He impacted my life, and without him, without his service in this community, I am just grateful. I'm very grateful for all that he has done. Every time Kershaw Dung would come to me on something, it will always be for somebody else. And therefore, today, I want to express my gratitude to him, to his family. Because when you are in service, it is your family that also make those sacrifices. And I know that there were many times that you would have made that sacrifice so that he could have fulfilled his purpose and his passion on this earth. So today, I extend my personal condolences to the family. I express my gratitude and I say that the greatest gift that we can give back to Parshota is to celebrate his life in the way that he lived. And that is to continue to be our brother's keeper. Thank you all very much for the opportunity to be here. Thank you, Stacey. The next speaker is a former member of parliament for Coach West. A lot of politics here today, so um, I now go on to Mrs. Didia Kopi Singh. So I urge everyone to just keep putting your limit. Two minutes, please. Thank you. Thank you, Sir. Great. You know, after we have heard so many persons paying special tribute to Bershota, we can understand what a good and noble soul he was. I came to know Bershota not because of politics. In fact, politics was collateral. I knew Pershota over 20 years. As a giant of a man with a kind heart. Pershota is one of the most compassionate persons I have met. He would give up himself selflessly. And not one day would he look forward to reap the fruits of his actions. And that, if I were to coin one phrase, for Shota was a good man. Many of you also spoke about his accolades in the cultural arena. For Shota, from India to Dubai to St. Vincent to Guyana to Suriname. In fact, I'm not sure, I'm not aware if any one of you know that he was a friend of a Bollywood actor, Kabir Bedi. And recently, recently, Kuro showed me some of his photographs of Kabir Bailey with him in Dubai. And recently he asked me to make some contact with him in Cuba, which I did because he wanted to have this cultural exchange. Today, as we did farewell to Pershotam, affectionately called Kuro, on this auspicious day of Saraswati Jayanti, we must remember the wisdom and the knowledge that he imparted to the young and the not so young. And before I get together, I want to say one of his favorite mantras. 
ओम असोमा सरगमिया ओम समसोमा ज्योतिर गमिया ओम इसमा अमृतम गमिया ओ लॉन फ्रॉम अंशू लीड मी टू चूज फ्रॉम डार्कनेस लीड मी टू लाइट एंड फ्रॉम डेथ लीड मी टू लाइट टू लाइट केवल माय फ्रेंड केवल Thank you, Mr. Dean. Uh, let me now call uh, Mr. Sujan Mangru, who will bring a uh, greeting on behalf of the the Rochdale uh, Pinal, um, the National Council of Indian Culture, and the Hindi body. Thank you. Sitaram Namaste. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everybody. My dear fellow mourners, today we are gathered here to pay our final respects to Parshutam. A lot has been said, and a lot will be said as well. A lot will be said later. I pause for a minute. Am I not yet? Okay, thank you. But two things I would like to share with you. We were in, we were in Mumbai a couple of years ago when they were shooting a movie, Dumb. And that's with a uh, Suresh Roy, Mirza Dia Mirza, and Atul Kulkarni he was acting this, the part of a police inspector. And Prashutam was standing right to the side of Atul when they were taking the shot for the movie dam. I haven't seen the movie dam, but if you take a look at the movie dam, you will see Prashutam in that as well. Now, my, the chairman of Diwali Nagar talked about Prashutam, his calmness. Dam. Yes, that's the name of the movie, Dam. His calmness. For a short time, you know, we produce Diwali Nagara. We go in front, we are holding mic, because you know, millions are looking at you with a portrait, a really nice, a really smile. But backstage, we had a fair share of argument. For a short time, I. Night after night, nagar after nagar. And after that, I come back on stage, backstage, and we say, You okay now? You feel cool now? That's the kind of person. But culture, Culture will suffer, especially the people of the smaller Caribbean islands like Grenada, St. Vincent, and St. Lucia. Prashutam has done a lot of work in those islands promoting culture, and I know they will miss him a lot. I bring condolences from Jai Sears from Grenada, Loan Harvey from St. Vincent, Junior Bacchus from St. Lucia, and of course, I messaged the president of Guyana yesterday, but I was expecting him to send a message as well. Prashutam's favorite song, and I hope the DJ to listen to this today, Prashutam's favorite song, very favorite song, is of Chris Ram Kilawa, Dunya Jamili Me. To the members of the Miri family, yesterday was my day, today is your day, tomorrow will be somebody else's day. Yeah. So, I'm told that I have to wind up now because the political leader is arriving shortly. Ram Ram Satya Hai, Yehi Satya Gati Hai, Om Satya Gati. Thank you everybody. Thank you, Mr. Mangro. We have on the program a few items um, coming up. Hoping that we will complete in time to reach in the creek. We have up to 12 o'clock to reach. We will be leaving at 12 p.m. So we are working within those time limits. While I now want to introduce to you Mr. Imaja again, let's sing a song. But first of all, I'll give somebody to answer a question here. Good. Look how she's done, right?
That's all right. Yeah, we are the leader of the opposition, the Rukam Al-Tasar Discussion. Leader of the United Nations of the Condolences 
And I want to say, like faith, when we have someone who passes on, the only thing left for us to do is to pray for them. This gentleman will be in our prayers forever. Sitaram, namaste, salam alaikum. Thank you, Kyle. I know Kyle may be thinking of they may take up on after Purushottam. Purushottam take up on yeah. the Master of Bahar. So I'll leave that to us with him. Our next speaker is a member of the family. It is Purushottam's nephew and his niece who will do the eulogy. So I call upon Barun and his Cousin Jaya and Dimitri. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. Just like to see a short speech about my uncle, perfect uncle Boyle. Uncle Boyle, son, father, brother, and my loving uncle, I am honored to say a few words about my uncle Pershota. Known by many as the Pick Up and Man, Boyo Puru Ozilla, as he was fondly called, was a cheerful and fun loving person. He was full of life. He was the sixth son born to the late Dana Rising, better known as Sunny Boy and Sushila Dana Rising. He was the brother of seven. Uncle Boyo attended the Diamond Memorial Village Primary School, then the Penal Junior Secondary School, and later Siparia Senior Comprehensive. He pursued his education at the San Fernando Technical Institute, the University of the West Indies, and at the Lockjaw School of Business, where he graduated with all distinctions in events management, a field which he enjoyed. He was affiliated with Masala Bahar, the Coca-Cola King Tower, that blossomed into the Diwali Nagar Queen Show we know today. He worked closely with the Indian High Commission. He also worked in heavy oil and gas construction and the Southwest Regional Health Authority. He was the chairman of the Orpuch West constituency. He served as a older man and the councilman of Davis South. For many years, he was the stage manager of the Chutney Soka Mara. Purushota is the vice president of the Lakrani Ganesh Mandir. His name is Sinamas in East Indian culture and the Hindu religion around the Caribbean. One of his hobbies was traveling. He visited many countries like Dubai, Alaska, Peru, and he would always tell us his favorite country to travel to was India. He also loved learning to play different instruments and sing it in his free time. He also loved sports. Back in his youth, he had an under-19 record, 107 runs and 27 balls. Ever since I was born, I can remember my uncle always carrying me out and spoiling me with food, drinks, and awesome gifts. My uncle and I for many years were like best friends. I would spend most of my time with him. We would go to the movies at night, and then he would buy me whatever I wanted to eat and drink on the way home. He was the most generous person I ever knew. When he was driving, he would not pass any vendor straight. He would always have to patronize and give a sale to every vendor he saw. We all know my uncle loved food. I doubt there is a double man in Trinidad. He did on sample time. He would always think of others. He would always treat his friends and family with delicious food and dessert. When my uncle got sick a year ago, my uncle and me got really close. He couldn't move around as freely as he used to. This is about the same time I went and got my learner's permit. The same day I came home, my uncle said, jump in the driver's seat, we're going to take a drive. Since that, then that day, I would carry him to work and wherever he wanted to go. He would teach me all I needed to know about driving. My parents didn't have their own car, and I was so grateful that I could learn to drive using his car. He was truly the best uncle ever. I could not ask for a better uncle. The same day I got my license, I asked him to borrow the car by myself. I went to school. And he said yes, even though my father was completely against it. My uncle would lend me his car any time I wanted, free of charge. You can imagine how much fun that was for me just getting my license. As the time went by, I was happy to do whatever I could whenever my uncle asked me to, because it was nothing compared to everything my uncle did to me over the years. This watch I have in my hand right now was a gift from my uncle. The very laptop I used for my school every day 
was a gift from him. I'm so grateful to have had such a person in my life. I will forever miss my uncle's voice, his smile, and his positive attitude. He was an incredible father, son, brother, brother-in-law, counselor, and especially an uncle. He was truly an amazing person. Even though my uncle was sick, he always put the needs of others before his own. Every day he would go to the little hampers, help our citizens in need, fix the roads, and he would stay on a do the work to make sure it was done perfectly. The villagers called him the best counselor David South ever had. He has a long distinguished career, served as a member of Parliament for Oracle from 1981 to 2001. He's a very close friend of this family and has always been on this home to support this family. I think they consider him as one of the elders in the family. I call on Mr. Trevor Sudama for my view.
has uh, participated in community endeavors. He, he was involved in many cultural activities. And of course, he was engaged in political activism and representation, as you have heard. So that he served in many capacities, and he served well and with enthusiasm, and always willing to serve. Anytime I ask to come to do something, it will respond to us, no problem, no problem at all. So that today, we stand in some debt to what he achieved in his life. And and indeed, as I say that, I want to strike a little somber note that in the last year or so, I have had reported to me over 20 people who died in their late 40s and early 50s. And what it does tell you is, yeah, is that there is time for some introspection among the Indian population as to their lifestyle and how they may promote their health and indeed to extend their productive life. So today, um, I want to say my last respect to him and uh, wish him well and may his soul rest in peace and may his family come to church with this speech. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sudama. Family appreciate um, the support that you have given over the years. We have three other items, so I'll move straight on to this item. This was arranged, everybody knows how we should have love music. This is Carnival Tuesday, right? We would have been enjoying music today. So we have a guest artist here. When he knows how we have passed away, he said he have to be here. I bring on no other than Mr. Chris Garcia. He's in the back there, so I'm going to pass him right there. So he'll take it away. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody.
rock music. That was his specialty. That's what I understood. So this is a, a song that I've chosen and I want to be behind the Because right now our brother is knocking on a particular door. It's called heaven's door. Knocking on <laughs>
We were very shocked and very surprised. Shota was always with us. In every way that a good human being can be and a good human soul can be. So, friends and family, Pandaji, devotees, brothers and sisters, all the politicians, but especially I'm pleased to see former MP Trevor Sudama can be contributing. And present MP, so there's been a long line of MPs in this constituency, but there has been one constant, one who's always been there, and that is who? Her shooter. He went through the line of the various MPs, loyal and dedicated soldier. I'm very happy to, to see the chairman, the councillors, and the aldermen of the Penal Navy Corporation where he worked and served for 10 years. And so I thank you all for being here to pay tribute and honor to our brother and our son. And so as we are here to pay final respects, this is a person who in some form or the other has touched so many lives, has inspired us. He has brought joy to so many lives. He has helped us, he has supported us. In some cases, did all of these things at one point in time. So why we say goodbye today? To a man who exemplified the true meaning of being a good human being. We also celebrate the opportunity to have interacted with a kind and compassionate soul. While we all feel an emptiness today, I want you to remember and find comfort in the ether these words of the Gita, which will apply to us and to our brother and our son. And these words are in the Gita, Krishna tells, or Krishna tells Arjuna, the spirit is neither born nor does it die at any time. It does not come into being or cease to exist. It is unborn, eternal, permanent, and primeval. The spirit is not destroyed when the body is destroyed. So Krishna continues to tell Arjuna, weapons do not cut the spirit, fire does not burn it, water does not make it wet, and the wind does not make it dry. The spirit cannot be cut, cannot be burned, cannot be wet, cannot be dry. The spirit is eternal, all pervading, changeless and dying. Let us take comfort from this words. We've all got someone, you know. When you're born, there's one thing you know that you will die. There's one thing that is certain in the life of every human being is that you know one day you will die. What we do not know is when and where or how. We've seen others die in some very horrific circumstances, but our brother here died very peacefully. Our dear friend, remember these words from Lord Krishna that I just read for you. That his soul and spirit will live on. They impart goodness within our universe. The goodness that he so often sent. We are also saying goodbye to a dedicated patriot and a compassionate politician. You know, most times we think politicians are not compassionate. But Paul was that compassionate human soul. Many of you may identify Puru as a politician for his role in the, as a local government councillor before that as an alderman for D.B. West, alderman for the PDRC and then as a councillor here for South Meadow, David South West. I mean, no chairman of the constituency. But his political career went further than these offices that he held in our great party. Koshota was a man who believed in a better country. He believed in the community. He believed in the need to ensure all those around him had opportunities to benefit. It was on this premise he would always make himself available to help, and that is to help which help the many MPs. I mean, which have speak, and the present MP speak, and the others. He was always there to help the sitting MP. And so, whoever was elected, he was there 
within this constituency, working with them. He believed in equality. He believed in the need to ensure true development for all. And so, whenever we had our Monday night meetings, you know, perhaps you never was there. He would miss, he was always there. He would always be present sharing our policies, but more important than being here in the community, helping to implement and carry out these policies to make them a reality. It was his love for country, loyalty to party, dedication to those around him, which led to his very successful entry, as I said, into the local government arena. Team UNC, as I say, the leader of UNC now, Team UNC can surely say that others have spoken of his cultural values. Today as the leader of a political party and as the leader of his party, our party. I speak in that capacity as well as as a mother. So we say to you, Guru, today our party has reached where it has reached thanks to your hard work and your determination and many others like you. Karshotam was a man who stood for what he believed, which made him an exemplary patriot. He believed in the beauty of indo trinidadian culture, but not just Indo, as the late Chris Gansler sings just now. He just loved music, he loved culture. He was determined not only to persevere, but to promote that culture, as we've heard from others today. And so today our local cultural art form flourishes, again, because of the dedication of persons we will all remember the decades he spent on Asana Bahar. Was it Pika Pan, yes? We miss Pika Pan as much as we miss of the Tiki Hindi Society. It was instrumental in the first ever Miss Diwali Nagar, as well as a key member of the production team of the Nagar stage program, and I've been there many times. And when you arrived, he was always there welcoming, greeting to a very beautiful place. In some way or the other, his work has impacted our lives, whether it be on screen, in the community, or in his family. However, the greatest manner in which he impacted our lives was through his kindness and his jovial approach to life. Whenever you met him, He was always blessed, you all remember that, friends and family here. Yeah. Be assured of one thing, when you finished speaking to our shoulder, you always felt better. Always felt better. Personally, I spoke with him on many occasions. Occasions, and his love for life, his belief in our party, his admiration of those around him, inspired me, as it inspired so many of us. Today, as we say goodbye to this earthly form, must keep his legacy always, his ways of goodness and kindness alive by striving to be better people in our own lives. It's that we are happy that we met him in his life's journey and in our life's journey. And to his mother, I want to share with you something that Pandita shared with me when my brother died. Many years ago, he was young, a young man. And he died in a car accident, taken away suddenly. And when it came, mother lost her son. It was not a natural way. Mother goes first. Parents go first. Son does go first, but she lost her son. He's everywhere crying, crying, and praying, and praying, and praying. Lord, I will do anything, just bring back my son. Father's going too, but mother's, I think, it is more painful. So she, mama, crying, bring back this boy, please bring him back. Anything you ask of me, I will do. And the Lord said to her, this you, I bring back your son. But I want you to go and bring, bring me a handful of mustard seed. Bring a handful of mustard seed, but you know what? You have a condition. You must bring it from a home that has never known death. He must bring that handful of mustard seed, corn, peas, whatever it is, from a home that has never known death. 
you can have your seat. Thank you. Alright, so a lot of his temple get go by me. And he always visited me every time he come to the temple there. He was very religious. And his mother always told me anything he had, we have to go by his God while of course. Which is very true. If he has something or does not, he will even come to meet me. At least to receive his blessing if he is there. And he was a very good soul. You know, my friend, the text Ramayana tells you, good and bad, loss and gain, name and ill name. Some people praise you, some people criticize you. That is human nature, my friend. You cannot get away with that. And you know, the people who criticize you, they will be very critical. And it's only something that the good people will criticize. Like a bearing fruit, my friend, has picked up. But always they will fruit and it's supposed there to the ground. That is a not different person. And today we have gathered here to sympathize and to pray to God, Bhagavan, Krishna, Hare to let his journey be very peaceful. But here he will remain until the day of Bhandara. If we read Gita and other texts, Guru Quran, etc., we are here with three bodies. <clears throat> we are here with three bodies. First, we are born with this physical body, which is made up of the five elements the fire, water, either the space, and all will go back to the respective place while the soul has to go back to God. So this physical body dies, and then the soul enters into a new body which is called the subtle body, which is the size of the tongue. And uh, on the day of the Bhandara, then it will take the optional body, which is the size of an arm, and that is the body the soul will then take and turn its way to God. In every faith, my friend, there is a day of judgment. That day will come, ours will take a year. So we pray here to Bhagavan Krishna that he has a very long journey to travel farther. He will need your wonderful feet to take him near to his destination. Living into this world, he have committed many errors knowing you otherwise. We ask you, Father, please forgive him. And you, friends and family, if you hurt your feeling any. Sometimes they take that enmity to be grieved. So they tell you I forgive. But inside the air, it's just to never for tomorrow. As poor Shotam have led his life, very excellent, my friend. We cannot praise him for the things that he has done for this country, family. And any time I approach him, he always has a smile. Do it or not. But this is how I'm trying. And this is the gentleman here today. It's me, tomorrow it will be you. The question is, are we prepared? And then we say, Father, you are not all merciful, all pervading and forgiving, Lord. May you forgive him and give him a place at your feet. As we try very desperately to liberate the soul with his body, some of us have done, some of us have not done it. As we live in this vast worldly ocean, Father, we have never formed a depth. And we will need a boat to cross us through this existing ocean of God and that your name, Bhagawan Shriyam, is that great name. Difficulties. As this boat lies here, run with me. Shri Krishna Chandram Binati Avalambanai Tinke Charna 
रखिए इसको अवगुण बहुत देरी है यही बार क्षमा करिए दीन दयाल पिता तुम निज धाम इसको चाहिए चाहिए मोक्ष दया बिन हो तो नहीं चाहे को प्रबंध करिए कोई ना चाहिए चाहिए सिया राम के नाम का नाम बना करो गति निज दास बना गनिए गनिए कोई व्रात तुम्हार करे बिनती दया भगवन करिए करिए श्री कृष्ण चंद्र महाराज प्रभु बेनती My friends, it is very difficult. And my friend is crying all the time. But I don't need. My friends, you think about it. It could be anyone that has no age. As the great philosopher Kabir Das tells us, "The Ram Nam Gaate Chale Jab Le Ghar Me Pran, Aisha Samay Aayenge Bajne Ne Bhupa Jawan." That you live a wonderful life. Praise the Lord. For when death will strike, we'll never recognize the young or the old, my friend. Death has no age. So now is the time to pray very sincerely. You know, friends, when you go to a satsang, you go to a funeral, you go to help to pray for that soul. But here, sometimes I look around here. Yeah, you have oral conversation. So some, but anyway, we thank you for that as well. And we fight for all the material things in this world, my friend. Tomorrow is yours. We has we will not live to see in who and his end of it. What are we fighting for? So Tulsi Das tells us fight for this land. Tulsi Yatan Khede hai. This is the land we must fight for. Who are the propagators? The words we speak, the thought in mind, and don't blame God. Blame yourself. Everything that we have done in this world, we have done it for our karma. You reap the happiness that is your karma. You have one pleasantness that is your karma. That is your fate. It is in your hand to live good, to see good, to, to walk good, and to talk good. Don't hurt other, hurt other people, people feeling it. You know, I always like to praise this Kabir Sahib. He was a very great, famous poet. You know, he always tells us, "Don't waste time in this world." As he is telling you, what is Pope Joe Trimble doing here today? जैसे कबीरा जब हम पैदा हुए वन आई वॉज बॉर्न हम रोई जब हंसे आई वॉज क्राइंग वन आई वॉज वॉन्टेड मिल कर यू वॉज जॉइन यूर सर्विस फैटन पार्टी टूडे आई एम लाफिंग एंड यूर क्राइंग साइलेंटली माई फ्रेंड आई कैन अ सी दैट बट इट इज हैपनिंग वी आर वर्ट इज सो मच ऑफ द लॉस ऑफ फोर टू टर्म ही वॉज एन आई कॉन इन द बिलिट इन फ्रेंड आर विच आई नो ऑफ माई फ्रेंड He, as my godchild, gave me an opportunity. Say, Baba, all I want you to make is five thousand dollars, and I will take you to India. <laughs> and he would have done it. And many times he asked me, and I never took up that opportunity. Baba, you just give me five thousand, I take you to India, and make you tour India. So such was the man, my friend. He could have done it, I know, but I didn't like, take up the opportunity challenge. So my friends. Again, Kavi Sahib said, "Ki swas swatma." We must sing, glorify the name of God. For when we do do this bread of life, we do not know it will come or go. Now this time, my friend, when you come to such congregation, let us pray together in one day. I ask you to stand with me, my friend. And whatever faith you belong to, my friend, I want you to join hands to have eternal peace. From now on, till the end of time. In this way, we pray. Yada dharam, akshay pundari kaatsham, prado mokshay prado ha, 
Thank you very much, my friend. Be seated. You can come in an orderly manner. Oh, yeah. Could it be? Could it be? Yeah, yeah. Could it be? Could it be? We take the emery and do the free. Thank you very much. Just an announcement before, while we are leaving, we have the police that will be escorting the trial to the hospital creek. The police vehicle will be front. Behind the police will be that music truck that is parked here. Then will be the funeral hearse, followed by um, the make way that the family vehicles are after the hearse so that they can reach together at the hospital creek. We have the Dragon Boys here. It was a request that both of them love Tassa. So we'll have Tassa, when he's leaving here, to take him to his final journey.
soon be free. <laughs> See that? <laughs> Oh, 